Contrary to what some might think, the folks that spend forty to sixty thousand dollars for a car are some of the most careful shoppers around. So in the interest of consumer education, we recently assembled six of the world's top V8 luxury sedans for a Motor Week comparison test. Yes, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. A decade ago, any assemblage of V8 luxury sedans would have likely been exclusively American. In 1993, however, the highest caliber in this category have origins from across the world, and only one carries the Made in the USA label. All of our V8 selections cost between forty and $60,000, today's most hotly contested price for posh sedans. Half our group are built in Germany. That includes the $56,400 Mercedes-Benz 400E, the Audi V8 also with a $56,400 base price, and the just-released $54,000 BMW 740i. From Japan, there are two, the $45,400 Infiniti Q45 and the groundbreaking $46,600 Lexus LS400. While carrying the domestic banner, as well as being the price leader of the group, is the $41,990 Cadillac STS. But for this test, we're going to ignore price, at least for now, and see which car impressed our staff most in the areas that are important to buyers in this class. V8 performance, safety, and of course, driving comfort. In alphabetical order, our attention first turns to Germany and the Audi V8. When the V8 came on the scene in 1989, it showed the smoother, wide stance styling that Audi would eventually introduce to all its cars. Power was then, and remains, from an all-aluminum 32-valve V8 that now delivers 276 horsepower. Delivery, however, is through all four wheels, since the V8 includes Audi's Quattro system of permanent four-wheel drive. This makes wheel spin unthinkable, even when it takes only 7.2 seconds to accelerate to 60 miles per hour. The Quattro system also helps the Audi V8 fly through corners with the most secure feeling of the group. Handling behavior was very predictable. However, the v 8 stiff suspension also gave it the harshest ride of the lot. Yet there was still quite a bit of nosedive during panic braking. Anti-lock assisted stops, however, were otherwise fault free at 115 feet on average from 60. The Audi V8 was among the first to use a sprig of real wood running the width of the dash. It is a welcomed visual relief to an otherwise all-business interior. Virtually everything you could wish for is standard on the V8, including two airbags with belt tensioners and a free-on-free -free climate control system. Seats are hard but heated, power adjustments for both driver and passenger. The only thing lacking in the rear seat, it seems, is headroom. The trunk, however, is plenty big at 15.7 cubic feet. Next up for your inspection, the BMW 740i the first V8 BMW in almost 30 years. The current 7 Series body has been around since the 88 model year, and it takes a BMW fanatic to distinguish the 740's slightly wider grille. The long, powerful hood, however, remains the perfect shape to cover this new 4-liter 32-valve V8. All 272 horsepower reached the rear wheels through a novel 5-speed automatic transmission with three shift modes that delivers both talented acceleration and effortless cruising. Zero to 60 sprints. School junior, step out of your textbook. Far faces. Power delivery is broad and flat, and the Bavarian V8 makes an almost American ground. Handling is impressive considering this car's two-ton weight. The V8's reserve power pushes you through tough situations, and only a flick of the wrist needed for recovery. Next and stopped from 60 took 108 feet with no drama. Inside, BMW's penchant for up-to-date safety is clothed in a Teutonic mixture of fine wood and taut leather. Two airbags are standard, as are seatbelt tensioners. Heated front seats are an option we like, and the Freon-free climate control system has separate temperature settings for the two in the front. Seats front and rear are firm and supportive with excellent long-distance comfort. 17.6 cubic foot trunk is the group's largest. In only its second year, the Cadillac STS may be unchanged to the eye, but not to the senses. Under its distinctive sheet metal lies Cadillac's long-awaited North Star 32 valve V8. Its 4.6 liters pumps out 295 horsepower, the group's highest, 
with a rumble that is distinctly American. Stop on the accelerator and the SDS smoothly rockets to 60 in 6.7 seconds, half second faster than the nearest Challenger. Traction control is standard. North Star is complemented by a new rear suspension that makes the SDS mostly a driver's delight. There was never a problem with adhesion, but its front-wheel drive setup makes for nose-heavy, somewhat sluggish steering response. But speed-sensitive dampening provides the STS with an excellent highway ride. Brakes performed well, too, but took a little longer to stop from 60, 120 feet on average, than the other. Pedal feel is nice and firm, unusual for a car with anti-lock. The interior of the STS borrows some of its wood and leather styling from Audi, but it is decidedly more luxurious. We only wish fit and finish were as outstanding as the quality of material. Twin airbags are standard, and we do very much like the supportive seats, which include vertical movement for the lumbar support. Seat heaters are an option. The trunk in the SDS is about average for its class at 14.4 cubic feet. The first Japanese luxury import we'll consider is the Infiniti Q45. The robust styling of the Q45 has not been nearly as universally praised as its powertrain. This 4.5-liter 32-valve V8 exudes 278 horsepower in a manner that is more at home in a muscle car. There is strength from launch to redline, and the Q45 manages to take only 7.2 seconds to pass 60 miles per hour. We're pleased that Infiniti has changed its transmission so that full throttle starts now begin in first rather than second gear. All that power helps the Infiniti master handling exercises with relative ease. Although, also like a muscle car, we did find the tail very lightly loaded and easy to break free. There is also a lot of body roll. Our Q45's options included four-wheel steering, which helps high-speed turn-in. The available fully active suspension greatly reduces body roll. Brakes did their job well. We did find that there was a brief moment of wheel lockup before the ABS kicked in. Regardless, the Q45 straight 110-foot stops were second only to the 740R. Inside the Q45 is a most serious car with minimal bright work, mostly from the analog clock, and no wood. Functionality certainly takes precedent over luxury. It is also the only car in our test without a passenger side airbag. Seats are hard, sculpted, but somewhat short on leg support. Interior room is about average for its class, as is the 14.8 cubic feet of trunk space. It's been four years since Lexus put the luxury car world on its ear with the LS400. Exterior changes since then have been minor. This year, a slight change in grille design, with the overall shape, while never original, still very handsome. Power resonates from a silky smooth 4-liter V8, also using four cams and 32 valves. It produces 250 horsepower. Rear drive, the LS400's four-speed automatic, is a model of refinement. But the LS400 is no slouch at 8.5 seconds from 0 to 60. But with our car's traction control, we never saw the Lexus sweat. The LS400 has stiffer springs this year, but still has the softest suspension of the group. While a plus on the highway, it was a minus during handling tests. But even with steering that was a little vague on center, the LS400 never lost its composure. We continue to feel the optional air suspension is unnecessary. We also couldn't want for more in braking performance with straight 118-foot stops from 60. Like all in our tests, four-wheel anti-lock is standard. There is less wood on the LS400's instrument panel than on some others, but the interior is still luxurious as well as roomy. We also find the 3D-style gauge is a treat for the eye. For 93, a passenger side airbag is new, and the air conditioning now also cools without Freon. Seats are very comfortable, but Lexus leather looks a little too industrial. Front seat heaters are an option. We found rear seat bottom cushions short on leg support. And the trunk space at 13.4 cubic feet was the smallest of the group. Finally, from Mercedes-Benz, the car that has been called their Lexus Fighter, the 400E. The 400E shares a mid-sized Mercedes look that dates back to the 86 model year and is now a classic. What is much newer, of course, is the 32-valve, 4.2-liter V8. 
borrowed from the S-Class, it delivers a seamless 268 horsepower and is capable of gliding to 60 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. Only the Cadillac STS is faster. Traction control is an option. Our car's traction control took some of the fun out of handling, however, limiting power when we wanted more. Tires could also be larger, but we'll still describe the 400E's handling as secure and stable. A moderate amount of body roll is typical for German sedan. Mercedes-Benz cars always seem to shine in braking tests. The 400E is no different. Stops from 60 were short, 115 feet, with total confidence. The interior of the 400E also gives you confidence. Despite a dated feel, you know this is a Mercedes-Benz and that everything is in its place and works flawlessly. Driver and passenger airbags are standard, as are seatbelt tensioners. The price paid for safety is the lack of a dash glove box. The air conditioner is now Freon free. Seats are hard, flat, and heated. The overall feeling inside the 400E is somewhat tight for its class. The trunk's 14.6 cubic feet, however, is typical. So, there you have it. Six expertly engineered answers to the V8 luxury car question. Which is tops? Boy, a tougher question we have never asked ourselves. But we have to admit that we were bowled over by the BMW 740i. Never before have we seen a single car that so perfectly lived up to the luxury car theme. It's powerful, graceful, safe, and refined. Next in line is our value king, the Cadillac STS. Already an impressive luxury sedan, the addition of North Star brings Cadillac fully back to world-class status. And we rate the remaining four as more or less equal. The Lexus LS400, this Audi V8, the Mercedes-Benz 400E, and Infiniti Q45. Clearly, it is hard to go wrong with any in this group. We hear rumors that the V8 luxury sedan is an endangered species. But then we heard those same rumors 20 years ago. There will probably always be room in the automotive world for exceptional combinations of performance and luxury. Today, these six cars have taken all the space that's available.